Hey everyone, it's Luke here, and today I'm gonna unbox an awesome new product that I just got from a company called Cat Care. I've really been waiting to get this, so let's bust into it and see what it looks like. All right, this is the packaging it comes in. Take a look at the front of the box. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be a pretty cool little system, and it's not that big. It's actually a lot smaller than I was anticipating. All right, the first thing we see when we open it are some carbon ink cartridges. We'll find out what those are for in a little bit. And it looks like the rest of it comes out as one entire unit. All right, looks like we have a little dish in the top here and something's gonna go on this side, but let's open it up and see what accessories come with it. Might be using this pretty soon. Here we have a USB powered submersible pump. Now that's pretty cool. I'm excited to see where this goes. Looks like a siphon straw for the pump. And what appears to be a water filter. Now I say that because it has months written on the top and usually that's an indicator of the start date. This looks to be the top part where the water will flow into and then out into the bowl. Well, now that I have all my parts together, let's go ahead and look at the manual and assemble this thing. So the first thing that they want you to do is route the USB cable through the actual watering device. You can see the hole for routing the USB right here. You can go ahead and stick the submersible pump down in the bottom and then use this orange elbow to stick it on the top and into the water return. Should look something like that. The next step is to install the filter by placing it in the back, setting the notch into the detent, and turning it. It locks into place. The instructions don't mention anything about these carbon ink cartridges, and then I open them and they're literally refills for a pen, so I'm not sure what that's all about. Before installing the top, it's important that the skimmer is seated all the way down in or the lid won't install correctly. I've also found it to be better to put the lid on and then this waterfall piece on top. So when it's all put together, my cat hopefully will love this thing and uh, let's go ahead and give it a try. So there's a minimum maximum line on the side and I think we'll go ahead and just fill it right into the top. Nope, that's a bad idea. Wow. Okay, don't do that. You'll wanna take the lid off to fill it for sure. So we'll fill this right up to that maximum line on the side. But first we'll go ahead and put the lid back on here. Make sure our filter date is set correctly. And we'll go ahead and put the fountain piece back on top. There's a little detent right down here. It's important that this sits in it because it's gonna hold it from shifting left or right. And now the part we've been waiting for. Let's plug it in and see what happens. Super quiet, makes no noise whatsoever. Probably very low power consumption. One thing I do want to point out about this is when the water flows over the top, it's basically like a skimming basket for a swimming pool. There's then a filter down underneath that you can clean and that's gonna take any of the garbage off the top of the water. Then secondarily, you have a water filter in the back to make sure the animal's drinking water is really clean. This is kind of a game changer. Well, this cat care pet fountain is pretty cool and my cat loves it already and has been drinking out of it. So I'm really excited. I'll do an update video to let you know how the cats like it over a period of time and if I have any trouble with it. But so far, awesome thing for keeping the cat's water fresh. So as always, thanks a ton for watching. Click the like button, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next cool review.